Most people don't even realize they're destroying their photos when they sharpen them. Right now, I'm going to show you the best way to sharpen photos in Photoshop without damaging your photos. Hey everyone, Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. Today we're going to use two examples. We're going to use a person and a landscape. So just get straight to the beef. Why don't we jump in and I'll show you exactly how this works. So here's a photograph that I shot in my studio of Lena. Let's double click the magnifying glass. This will take me to 100% view. Hit the space bar and we can move things over. And there's a reason I want to look at her bracelet. Let's duplicate the layer so we can do a before and after. That's just control J. And it's also handy to have that duplicate. I'll show you why. Filter. This is how we do a sharpening. We go down under sharpen. And there's actually three different ways we'll work on this. But let's just go straight to what I want to show you. And I'll show you the rest in a minute. Okay, so let's go down to unsharp mask. And this is the adjustment a lot of people use. And it's a great option. Now, generally speaking, I like to keep the radius mm, under one and then take our amount up to, I don't know. You're not gonna see a lot of difference till you get around about 100. That's looking pretty good. But what I wanna do is I wanna push this a little bit further so I can show you what we wanna do. So let's push this radius higher and I'm gonna push this up. Now I see a lot of people do this, they push it up high. Now obviously this is damaging it because you can see the white is blowing out. The white was actually blowing out at the earlier value uh, the smaller value, but you just didn't necessarily see it. Okay, here's the trick. Watch what happens when we go down effects and we're going to choose blending options under the effects. This will open up the effects or the layer style dialog box. Go down to blend if, which is under advanced blending. Choose this layer and grab the white. Now we're going to drag the white to the left. Notice as we do this, this rolls off that white area. So if we go somewhere near the middle, notice now that we've got this nice effect. Let me show you before. That's but before we roll it off. Notice we've got halos around the edge of the guitar here. Halos around. See those halos around the tuning pegs. Her bracelet. Hit that preview. Boom. The halos are gone. And click OK to apply it. And look at this. We've still got the nice sharpening effect. Let me show you what we do. Go down here. We can see the texture here in her outfit. Before, see, it's just kind of blurry. Here, it's nicely defined. So there's another thing we can do. But we've got the two layers going together. We can just roll back the opacity if you feel like, hey, you know, I don't like some of the noise and stuff that's being added. No problem. Just roll back the opacity, combine the two, and we can see here's before. Here's after, we've got a nicely sharpened image. I'm gonna double click this and bring it all the way into 100. We're going in really far right now. And this is a landscape photo. I'm gonna hit Control J three, a uh, couple of times. First time, we're just gonna call this one USM, which is unsharp mask, which is what we just did. Then I'm gonna show you SS, and you'll see what that is in a second. And Control J, and this is going to be the third method that we're going to use, HSP. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is, let's start with the unsharp mask. So we're going to choose Filter Sharpen. So I'm showing you three different methods here. And they all have a different place. So unsharp mask is what we, I just showed you. And this is where it sizzles. You see a lot of this on landscape photos. I see it all the time. People try to get there. You've got that sizzling in the highlights. Let's just click OK. Let's do our little trick here. When we grow up under the effects, choose the blending options, roll off the white, and boom, the sizzle's gone. And we've got that nice sharpening. This is a shot on a Sony A1. So we are like super zoomed in here just to let you see. <laughs> so this is 50 megapixels. And you'll see what's going on here. So if we didn't roll that off, we would get, watch the horizon here. Let me double click on there and this is what would happen. See, we get the halo there on the horizon. So we pull that back, we're able to fix it. Okay, let's show you the second option. Smart Sharpen. Filter, Sharpen. Unsharp, uh, we're doing the Smart Sharpen. 
Okay, here we are in Smart Sharpen. Now, Smart Sharpen at first appearance seems to work a little bit like the Unshop Mask. And in a way it does. It's got a little bit of noise reduction going here. Now, once again, I'm going to push this radius a little bit higher just to make it really clear what I'm doing. Now, the nice thing about here is we have the ability to fade the highlights. So watch this. Fade the highlights. Why is it not fixed? Because we need to set the tonal width and tell it what the highlights are. As we move over, now it starts to move more into the midtones. So this gives us a little bit more control because we can choose exactly where we want it. Radius doesn't do much in this case. But we can also do it in the shadows. Let's choose the fade amount. Just crank it all the way up and adjust the tonal width. And notice how we can start to not have it hit so much there. Before, after, that's using Smart Sharpen. Unsharp Mask, before, after. This gets better. So we're going to show you the High Pass Sharpen now. So with High Pass Sharpen, I'm going to change the mode to Overlay. Filter, Other. Now we're going to go down to High Pass. So the nice thing about the High Pass filter is we can just get the edges. We can, you know, get the whole image if we're very hard, but we can go here and we can just hit the edges if we're subtle. In fact, sometimes when you zoom out here, you can see where you're hitting it. So those are the three different ways of sharpening. Let me zoom out here. Unsharp mask, smart sharpen, and high pass sharpen. Another thing I want to show you, if we double click on this image, and we go up here into the sky. If you look at the unsharp mask, notice how it increased the noise in the soft area in the sky as well. So it's not as targeted, it just hits everything. Smart sharpen, not so much. And you can see it's not adding as much noise in here, but if we hit the high pass sharpen, the high pass sharpen is pretty much leaving that noise alone. So I hope this opened your eyes a little bit with how to sharpen your photos and avoid that sizzle, which I see in so many photos, it just ruins them. I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments underneath, which of those methods did you prefer or did you prefer when we combined them all? And by the way, guys, if you're new here, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Great to have you. Consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any of my weekly tutorials. So anyway, guys, if you like this, do me a favor, hit that like button, smash it into dust. It helps us with the algorithm here on YouTube. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.